Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on EMC consideration. For this video, I'm going to concentrate on the practical aspect. I'm going to do a demo okay, based on this standard EN or also known as IEC 61000-4-2, which is also known as ESD, Electrostatic Discharge. I'm going to do a demo to test this DUT or EUT according to this standard and whether this DUT or EUT pass this test or not. So this will be the objective of this video. This will be the part 51 series discussion on EMC. So guys, if you're keen to know more about EMC, please take a look on the playlist under the description. Over there, you will be able to find a series of discussion on EMC. This is my email. If you have any question regards on this discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and also the subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Guys, once again, Thank you so much for your strong support. Let's quickly discuss on the sequence of this practical aspect. Okay, so I'm going to do a demo on a DUT using this standard EN or also IEC 61000-4-2. Okay, firstly, I will do the direct contact discharge. Under this direct contact discharge, there will be positive followed by negative. So after this test, I will move on to indirect contact discharge. Under this indirect contact discharge, I will do it against okay, via this horizontal coupling plane or via the vertical coupling plane. Firstly, okay, I will do this indirect contact discharge via horizontal coupling. Okay, again, that will be positive and negative. I will start off with the positive followed by the negative. The next test, I will do this indirect contact discharge via vertical coupling. Okay, again, there will be positive and negative. I will start off with the positive followed by the negative. And last but not last, the test okay, will be the air discharge. Again, under this air discharge, there will be positive and negative. So after all these tests, I will do a quick conclusion whether this DUT or EUT pass the test. So this will be the objective of this video. So let's take a look on the practical aspect. We are going to do the direct contact discharge. Okay, so we are going to do on the level 2, which means that the direct contact discharge plus minus 4 kV and air discharge plus minus 4 kV. You can see on the setup that we have here, on the extreme left, you can see that there's a plus. That means we are going to do the plus priority. And then it will be 4 kV. Okay, single means that every time when we press, there will be one single charge. This 10 here means that, okay, we are going to do 10 times on this positive 4 kV. Okay, so let's do the direct contact discharge. Okay, so you pick the DUT up, okay, you move the ESD gun slowly towards the DUT, and then we have the first discharge. Okay, you can see that the DUT is not working well now, okay, because of the 4 kV discharge. Okay, but we continue second, and then third, fourth, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so therefore we finish the test and you can see that the DUT cannot survive this direct contact 4 kV test. Next, we are going to do the minus. Earlier on, we have done the positive. So now we are going to do the minus 4 kV direct contact discharge. Okay, so again, we bring the ESD guns towards your EUT. Okay, and then we discharge the first time. Discharge the second time, discharge the third time, discharge the fourth time, fifth time, sixth, 
7, 8, 9, and 10. So from here, you can see your DOT is still working as compared to early on the positive one. Okay, the positive discharge actually creates some error or some fault onto your DOT. While this minus 4 kV okay, does not have any fault shown on your DOT. Okay, next we are going to do the indirect contact discharge. Okay, the first one that we are going to do will be the horizontal, indirect horizontal discharge. Okay, you can see that the ESD gun is placed onto the horizontal coupling plate and your DUT is placed on top of an insulator plane. Okay, so let's start on the discharge. Before we go into the discharge, you can see that again, we are testing on the positive and 4 kilo volt. And then we are going to do a single and then every repeat, we are going to do 10 times. Okay, so now let's start to do our horizontal discharge. We are going to do 10 times. Okay, on the contact, indirect contact discharge. First one, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we are done with the indirect horizontal discharge. You can see that the DUT is still functioning well. We are still doing on the horizontal coupling plate, okay, indirect contact discharge on the horizontal coupling plate. This time round, you can see that we have set to negative. Earlier on, we have done the positive. So this round, we are going to do on the negative discharge. 4 kV, level 2 on the horizontal plane. And let's see the outcome of this test. One. Two discharge, third discharge, fourth discharge, fifth discharge, sixth discharge, seventh discharge, eighth discharge, nine discharge, ten discharge. And this time round again you can see that the DOT still function normally, so hence it passed the test. Okay, next we are going to do the indirect contact. Okay, so instead of horizontal, now we are going to do on the vertical coupling plane. Okay, you can see that we have placed the EUT or DUT approximately about 10 cm away from the vertical coupling plane. And let's take a look on the setting. You can see that this time round we are going back to on the positive. Okay, we are going to do the 4 kV discharge single and we are expected to do 10 times. Okay, so we are going to put the vertical, the ESD gun onto the vertical plane. Okay, and we are going to notice the outcome of the DUT. Okay, so the first discharge, the second discharge, the third discharge, the fourth discharge, the fifth discharge, the sixth discharge, the seventh discharge, eight, and the nine, and last but not least, the tenth discharge. From here, you can see that your DUT survived the test. Okay, so we have done the positive on the vertical coupling. Okay, next, we are going to do the vertical coupling test again. Okay, remember earlier on, we have done the positive. You can see the setting now. We are setting to the negative. Okay, the, all the parameters still intact. Okay, so let's do the indirect vertical coupling test. Okay, so let's fire the ESD gun. First test is such second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we have successfully done ten discharge okay, through the vertical coupling on the negative priority. Okay, again you can see that your EUT still function well, hence it passed the test. Okay, now we are ready to do the air discharge. Okay, early on we do the direct contact. You can see that the head is a pointed one. Okay, so now we are going to do the air discharge. You can see that the head is slightly rounded. So we are going to do the air discharge and we are going to remove this uh, direct contact head and we are ready to do the test. 
So what we need to do is we will bring the ESD gun close to the DUT and before that you can see that we set the parameters positive 4 kilo volts single and 10 times and we are ready to do the air discharge so we will bring the ESD gun close to the connector of this DUT and we are going to fire the DUT so the first test okay, the second discharge the third the fourth the fifth the 6, the 7, the 8, 9, and 10. You can see that the DOT somehow cannot survive the test. Okay, it needs to have some human intervention okay, before this DOT can recover. Okay, so you can see after some time, okay, so it managed to recover it by itself. So this actually falls onto the result okay, under the situation number 2. Okay, there's a fault, but it's able to recover after some time. Okay, the last test, okay, we are going to do this air discharge. Okay, you realize that the priority we have switched to minus. Okay, so the discharge will be 4 kV. Again, will be single, and then we need to do 10 times. So now we are going to bring the ESD gun close to your DUT, leaving a small gap. Okay, so once we leave a small gap, we can start the test. The first discharge, the second discharge, the third discharge, the fourth discharge, the fifth discharge, the sixth discharge, the seventh discharge, the eighth discharge, the ninth discharge, and the last discharge, which is the tenth. Okay, so over here we can see that this DUT somehow survived the negative air discharge. Okay, so with this we have complete all the tests. Okay, unfortunately, we can conclude that this DUT cannot pass the test. Okay, if you still remember, it feel the direct contact test, and it also feel the air discharge test, and it can feel more than one time. And hence, from this conclusion, we conclude that this DUT cannot survive the level two test. Okay, with this, I would like to end this experiment. Thank you. We have come to the end of the video. So guys, today I have shown a demo okay, using this standard ENIEC 61000-4-2. So guys, please support this channel by like this video and also consider to subscribe to this channel. Guys, once again, thank you so much for your strong support and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye for now. Thank you so much.